Andrew, we're here with Epris Leonidas. Can you tell me a little bit about this system, please? Absolutely, so Leonidas is our flagship ground-based high-power microwave system. Um, at Epirus, we develop high-power microwave systems for counter-electronic effects. Uh, first mission application of that technology is going to be counter-drone, and what's great about our system is that it can take out both individual drone targets, or we can then widen our HPM beam to take out swarms of drones. So under contract with the Army for this system, and we really see it as the most effective and efficient HPM system for that counter drone swarm mission. Hey, can you describe to me exactly what happens when a swarm of drones comes near it to, to the area? Absolutely, so we put up, think of it as a shield of high power microwave or directed energy. Um, what the system does is it destroys the critical electronics of that drone target, so once we put effects on that target, drop straight to the ground. So it's a step up from other CUAS technologies like jamming, uh, which just cuts off the C2 system, the command and control system of that target. Um, with autonomous drones though, there's not always a command and control platform, so jamming is then rendered useless. So high power microwave takes it a step further. Again, we destroy the critical electronics aboard um, that UAS, and quite literally it falls from the sky as soon as Leonidas puts effects on it. Um, as we like to say at Epirus, uh, with Leonidas, if it flies, it dies. And you're under contract with the Army, and you're here at Sea Air Space looking at pot uh, potential opportunities with the Navy. What specifically are you looking at? What kind of problem are you trying to solve with the Navy? Yeah, absolutely, so great to be back here at Sea Air Space. We've had some really great conversations uh, with our counterparts throughout the sea services this week. So yeah, under contract uh, for Lee and not just with the Army, but also exploring future maritime applications of our HBM technology. So, Think terminal defense, port protection, um, have some Leonidas stationed around a naval base to protect again against both individual aggressor drones, but also swarms of drones. Um, we've also demonstrated the effectiveness of our high power microwave technology on an outboard vessel motor. So talking a lot this week to our counterparts um, in the Navy, the Marines and Coast Guard about potential vessel stop capabilities. Again, so it's not just counter UAS. That's the first mission application of our technology, but it's more broadly a counter electronic system. So you can take out a drone, you can take out a swarm of drones, you can take out an outboard vessel motor, and the list goes on. Counter UAS is really just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to our technology, so we're certainly excited about continuing our talks uh, with the sea services for future maritime applications. Well, what sets this one apart from, from other systems? Yeah, a few things. Uh, size is a huge one, right? We've revolutionized uh, what's called the swap factor, size, weight, and consumption of power. Competitive HBM systems are going to be incredibly large, occupy the size of a shipping container. Leonidas is dramatically smaller, can fit in the back of a commercial pickup truck, can be fit in a C-130, can be towed by a commercial grade trailer. So size is going to be a huge differentiator. Um, also, the software definability of the system is another key differentiator. Um, and what that does, based with our software backbone, we can very precisely control our HPM pulse. So, Leonidas platform, can it be put on, on a mobile on a mobile platform? It can, and that's another huge differentiator of our technology, the modularity and scalability of our systems. We can rapidly scale up or scale down the systems to meet customer requirements. So we've integrated uh, what you see here, our Leonidas high power microwave array uh, with the Striker ground combat vehicle along with our partners at General Dynamics Land Systems. We also have what we call Leonidas pod. That's a dramatically smaller form factor. Again, all leveraging that same underlying technology and with that, we can rapidly scale up, we can scale down, we can integrate with the Striker, we can integrate with other vehicle and vessel platforms. So back again to differentiators, your earlier question, that scalability, that modularity, is something that gives us a huge leg up on any other competitive directed energy system.